In years have shown tornadoes are becoming more common in the southeast. Here in the upstate, we've seen a string of twister outbreaks over the last few years, causing a lot of destruction in our area. We wanted to know if this is a fluke or part of a trend we're going to be seeing in the future. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson live in Greenville for us tonight after talking with emergency management officials about why we're seeing this increase in tornadoes. Yeah, Cody and Tori, I spoke with Greenville County emergency management officials and I asked them that question. Would we continue to see more tornadoes in the future? They told me they could not make that prediction right now, but they did stress the importance for making a plan and being prepared. A few weeks ago, part of the roof was ripped off Allison Coleman's home because of a tornado. Things are slowly but surely getting fixed. I was ecstatic. I was like a little school kid clapping my hands because I was so happy to see it. However, weather studies show that Tornado Alley has shifted further east in recent years or just encompassing more territory, becoming more destructive. Wow. You know, that was always something you think about in the Midwest states and not such you know, such close to us. Some of the statistics showing that some of those tornadoes are more frequent. Because surviving a tornado is now a lived experience for Coleman. She stresses being prepared to weather any storm. I found a lot of people that say I wouldn't know where to go in my home. You need to find out. April 13th marks two years since several tornadoes touched down across South Carolina. I spoke with Greenville County Emergency Management about how this could affect life as we know it. All the tornadoes that happened in South Carolina, all 28 of them, happened between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m. A time when most people are asleep and proof a tornado can strike at any time. Emergency management officials say knowing what's coming is essential for survival which is why Stump stresses the need to know what to do in an emergency and immediately after one. You can put together a plan all you want, but if you put it on the shelf and don't look at it, it's useless. Because it happened. I got to take it seriously. I got to know where I'm at and where I would go. And I'm watching weather now more than I did. Instead of just waiting for an alert, I'm sort of kind of aware beforehand. Now, planning, I'm told, should be for any type of hazard, that being tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, even earthquakes. We'll have more of this posted inside of our free app. Reporting live in downtown Greenville tonight, I'm Jarvis Roberts in Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news. Well, Jarvis, thanks so much.